So I'm going to go ahead and type in a waterfall in the jungle at dawn. Another leap forward in artificial intelligence could be coming to a screen near you. A New York startup hopes its text-to-video generator may one day allow users to create a full-length movie. So when we first released Gen 2, a little under a year ago, uh, you were able to generate four-second clips. Uh, now you're able to generate up to 16 seconds at a time. Much like chatbots and AI image generators, users type in what they want to see. The software then interprets the text to create a short video clip. So basically, these models are trained on vast amounts of data where they're able to gain an understanding of the world and things within it. ChatGPT maker OpenAI shared a glimpse of what sophisticated text-to-video technology might look like with Sora, a new tool that's not publicly available yet. I think one of the really exciting longer-term capabilities of these models is not to think of them as making just entertaining videos, but instead they could be thought of as simulations of the world. But these simulations have raised ethical questions. I think there's still going to be really valid reasons for concern about how these models, many of them, uh, OpenAI and all the others out there, might be used for propaganda purposes, might be used for nefarious purposes, fraud. Anyone can use Runway's browser-based tool, but Umferson says it's geared toward industries that make content for a living, like streaming services and production companies. I think the best thing we can all do when new technologies arrive and become available is to experiment with them, understand how they might affect us, what they might enable us to do, because really it's not until you start experimenting with the tools where you truly understand not only the potential, but the limitations. In New York, Joseph Frederick, Associated Press.